Hey guys, what is up? Happy Monday. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a first impression and two looks using the brand new Urban Decay Cyber Eyeshadow Palette. So this right here, I believe retails for $54. Urban Decay did go ahead and send this out to me. It should be available on September 22nd. Once it is available, I will update the description box down below. Okay, so firstly, here is the box of the palette. I think it's beautiful. And then I'm so happy that they kept it the same for the actual palette. Here is what it looks like. I love the design. It kind of reminds me of like an arcade or something. Love. This palette is vegan for reference. It is made in the USA. There are 12 shades in total. We get uh, matte, metallic, and duochrome finishes in here. Okay, so here are the first four matte shades that are included. You guys can see there are three really, really light tones and then one deeper like orange. These are with one swipe swatches each. Pretty smooth. A little bit, tad bit chalky, but not that much. Next up, we have the four metallics. These are also with one swipe swatches each. Um, they're not the softest metallics I've ever felt in my life, but they're not like gritty or anything. I would say right in the middle there. And then we have the four duochromes here. So they're not like overly duochrome, but when you like shift and turn, they come across as like a different color, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so of course I'm going to have my base makeup linked down below, but let's get started with the first eye. Here, the first shade I'm going to go in with is this one, AI. It's a matte cream. And I'm going to use the fluffy side of this brush to set everything down. This is a really good setting shade. I'm also going to set the other eye with this as well, since I typically do like to set my eyelids. Next, I'm going to go in with the deepest matte shade. This is BYTE with a Morphe M433. Picking up really nicely on the brush, I'm just going to sweep this in the crease area. And then I'm just going to build it up one more time to deepen it up a bit. Go really high in the brow bone area though. The shade builds up really well. I love this color. It's a really nice fiery orange. The next shade I'm going to go in with is Override on the lids. I'm just going to use my fingers to dot that on. That's a duochrome. Like it looks reddish, but applied it's more like green-ish. Actually, depending on how you move, it has like the red in there as well. So it's like a red, sparkly green color. For the brow bone, I'm going to go ahead and use the shade Static with the Urban Decay brush that was included in here. And this one is like a silver color. I just want like a lot of glitter on my eyes, you know. That is so yummy. Yes, we'll take it. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the shade Bite again with the brush that came in the Urban Decay palette. So I'm going to go in with like the stiffer side and then apply this. So the look could be a bit more uniform. Then we're going to do something totally different. Totally different. Um, for the other eye. But I do really like this matte shade. It seems like it's blending out really nicely. It built up well. It's such a good one. And it's very, very soft. I'm actually going to try to put more up here so it's a bit more defined and more orange. And then going with the other side, I actually prefer one-sided brushes. I'm not really into double-sided brushes. But this is this is a good one. Very multifunctional. Okay, I'm pretty much finished with this eye. I'm just gonna apply some mascara, the Essence Lash Princess Mascara, best thing ever. You guys know this, I always speak about it. And then the Urban Decay 24 7 liner in perversion, really nice, very black. So I'll apply those and then I have lashes here as well. Be back in a minute to finish the other eye. Okay, so right eye is completed. Let's get started with the left eye. For, on a Refer 27 brush, I'm gonna be taking the shade Gadget and throwing it in the crease. So this right here is just a really, really light pink color. I feel like it's the kind of shade you'll have to build up. It looks pretty good actually. Really, really nice pink. I don't know if this would work out for all skin tones though because it's pretty light in tone. Okay, next I'm looking at this palette. I'm not 100% sure what to do just because there's only one deep matte shade here and everything else is more on the lighter side and my style of doing makeup is 
deepening up the shades in the crease and then throwing something on the lid. That's just typically how I do it. But in this case, because this is very different compared to any other palette that I have, I think I'm just gonna throw a bunch of the glitter shades on the lids and see like how the look comes out to be. So first I'm gonna take a little bit of cyberspace on my finger. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and apply it on the lids. Really pretty, so... <laughs> okay. So this is like a nude, but there's like a um, green shift to it. Like, and the shift is pretty, pretty green. It's beautiful though. So, so nice. And it looks very clean on the eye. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Call It. Apply it maybe more towards like the middle area, not completely on the green. Doesn't really show up. Okay. Okay, next I'm gonna take the shade Y3K. So this is also more of like a duochrome. I'm gonna put it in the middle area. Yeah, I like this. I like it a lot. So we're gonna see transitions. I'm gonna take a little bit more of cyberspace, that green shade, fill it up a little bit more. Back in with a Y3K. Put more of that there. These are very, very light. The next shade I'm gonna go in with is not a bot. This is really pretty. It seems pretty pigmented too. I'm gonna to put this towards like the end. And this is like a silver. Put it up there too, like to the brow bone. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of like winging it. <sighs> All right, back in with Y3K. I feel like we're not really seeing much of the purple peeking through. And then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna use a brush again and go in with the shade Gadget, like that lighter pink again, just to add a little bit more definition. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe JH41 brush and use a shade Bite. So typically, I wouldn't apply this kind of shade underneath here, but I kind of feel like anything else I apply will not show up because everything is so beyond light. Yeah, so we're just gonna take this one and see where it actually like takes us. This brush is stiff. I'm gonna go on with the brush that came in it with the palette and just blend it out a little. Definitely more like a lighter eye. Like it's not as dramatic as I typically go, which could be nice because I tip. I feel like it's either, for me, it's like either go big or go home. There's no like light vibe with me usually. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for this eye. I'm gonna apply lashes, mascara, liner, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so that is pretty much it in regards to the eye looks. For liquid lipstick, I just used this brand new one by Ofra in Sobe. You could use my code Lior for 20% off if you guys are interested. I also applied highlighter and I'm sweating. This right here is in a Double Gleam by MAC, one of my favorites for sure. It's a really, really solid one. So in regards to my final thoughts or my first impression final thoughts um, regarding the palette. Okay, so I will say that I feel like the metallics are there and the duochromes are there, but they're so light in tone that you really, really have to build them up. And like I always say, I prefer like a metallic or a glitter shade to be overly pigmented so then i could use it in a pigmented way or i could use it in a light way if i choose to do so but i feel like with this palette it's just really really hard to get like a good build with the shades you know also in regards to the mattes my style of doing makeup is like i mentioned before building the mattes in the crease and then throwing like a metallic a duochrome on the lids with this palette there really wasn't much of that which in a way it's like not every single palette needs to have that but it would have been nice, but let's say it doesn't, fine. Um, I feel like I just don't know how many looks I can create with this that will look somewhat different and unique and curated amazingly. I don't know, curated well. I wanna like this because I feel like it is different compared to other palettes that I have, but I feel like it's just missing a little bit of something. You know what I mean? I feel like they could have done a little bit more with this one, at least in regards to pigmentation. I love the idea. I love like the finishes in here, but they don't apply as deliciously as I would like, you know? Um, so with that being said, I will definitely go ahead and play around with this a little bit more and keep you guys posted, but I really just wanted to see how this palette applies on the eyes. Um, and I wanted to see like what kind of looks I could come up with, you know? What do you guys think? 
are we into this? Are we not? Keep me posted. I think that's pretty much it for now. I don't have much else to really say about this one, but definitely stay tuned for my updated video. After I use this for about a week or two, I'll let you know if it's worth your money or not. But I hope you guys enjoyed the two looks and semi little first impression. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.